Hello and welcome to the WHS Journal Public Affairs Program. I'm Jerry Williams. Join me now for part two of my conversation with the founder of SoulFest, Dan Russell. SoulFest, the Northeast premier multi-day Christian music festival. That's happening now on the WHS Journal. It's news and public affairs. Amen. So it's three days, uh, right. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it's music starting at what time and ending at what time all three days? Yeah, August 15th through 17th, the gates open at 10. Uh, the main stage stops at 10. So if you got a 75-mile drive, you can, you don't have to get lodging, uh, you know, it's at, at the Greenfield area. But there's camping on site. we got plenty of camping, RVs, premium tent sites, et cetera, et cetera. All that's on the website, the soulfest.com. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, going to be an exciting, exciting time. 10 a.m. all the way up to basically up to midnight, there will be uh, just a lot of music and fellowship and and good times and good memories at Soul Fest. Man, it's been happening yeah. for, like you said, what, 26 years now? And yeah. we thank God. I remember my first one was when I moved out from California in 2002. You were at Loon Mountain, I believe it was. And wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my first one, Loon Mountain. And then after that, it was Gunstock. I think I might have met you at Loon Mountain, I, and I get this memory of you. I wonder if we met that, because I, I sort of remember that. But, yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, the music stops, the program stops at 11 p.m., Okay, but the outdoor stages stop at 10 p.m. I don't I don't want the, the neighbors in Greenfield <laughs> saying, oh, we got to go somewhere else. <laughs> uh, we're going to be making joyful noises. It's going to be exciting yeah. for me. That three days translates to five minutes because that's how quickly, that's how dense it is with activity of energy. And oh, and uh, by the way, another thing that's new for us is we want to be known as a foodie festival too. We don't want to just be known as music and teaching. We're curated a, a lineup of over twenty-four different food vendors, all, and that's also on our website. So. There's going to be singer-songwriter circles where the artists from the main stage you got to spend 90 minutes, like three of them will spend 90 minutes on an alternative stage and, and talk about songs and, and share each, their songs with each other. And then we have the Heart of the Artist series interview with the headlining artists, uh, the co-headlining artists, all do a, a, about an hour-long interview and a Q&A time with the audience on another stage, and so it's always fun to see someone like Zach Williams or Lecrae or Crowder sit down and share his songs with an acoustic guitar with a small audience, or be interviewed by our one of our uh, interviewers. So there's a lot of things that are going to happen. Multiple stages. Each stage, it's a it's a different uh, style of Christian music, right? We have a vast variety of genres, and so we have the rock and roll stage and then we have acoustic stage we have uh, uh, stages where we have regional bands on and, and then we have the main stage where the national artists usually are located but uh, yeah there's a there's an off a big variety there's not going to be anybody that comes and says i couldn't find anything for me it's quite a curation of talent. Something for everyone. Three days. Again, the dates are, Dan? August 15, 16, and 17 in Greenfield, Massachusetts at the Franklin County Fairgrounds. Uh, we have a 10-year commitment to this area, so we're going to set our or let the roots go down deep. And, and uh, we're, hoping, we're hoping people try it out, come up and spend a day or three days with us, and, and uh, there's plenty of tickets available, and you can get them on our website. So that area is about to be invaded by Soul Festers, something they've never seen or experienced before, and get, look out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be exciting. And, and we already been into Greenfield, the, the, the mayor, the, you know, police, the fire, all these people are so different than we've experienced in the past. Their arms are open. The community uh, recognizes this as a really positive thing. And, and so we're praying that on many levels, God is going to be blessing not only the individuals that attend, the neighbors that 
uh, warm up to us uh, in the community, the businesses and, and things like that. At, at Gunstock in Laconia, New Hampshire, it was a it was seventeen years of big business for that community, and so a lot of blessings happen on a lot of levels. Yeah. Well, Dan, God bless you. Thank you for sharing um, information about Soul Fest. It's closer to home. Cut my commute down, man. So I'm looking well, forward. That's, that's, you know, that's why we moved it. I don't know if you got the memo. <laughs> but, but, no, we appreciate uh, you, all you're doing, Jerry, to help spread the word about this event. And, and uh, you, know, we, we, you know, we have eight more weeks of setting things up. So we, we're, we're going to be uh, going full tilt until probably two weeks after the event. Uh, but uh, I, I'm sure people come that that are listening to this now that for the first time they're going to recognize that this is something they want to do every year to recharge their spirits and refocus them on, on their soul-connected relationship with God. So if you want to volunteer or get tickets... Um yeah, the, all on our website. TheSoulFest.com, correct? TheSoulFest.com. Yes, that's it. Thank you for memory, Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're in New Mexico right now, right? What's it like over there? First of all, it's 7,400 feet altitude. And uh, I don't know if anybody's been hanging out at the top of uh, uh, mountains that big, but the you, it gets, you got to get used to it. My wife and I were surrounded by... Uh, 360 degrees of beauty, uh, you know, mountains. And God's a mad artist. He's busy every day throwing everything he can, uh, and, and including the kitchen sink, at how beautiful things are. And it's, not, you know, there's only 85,000 people in Santa Fe, uh, so it, you don't get a big city commute kind of vibe or traffic or, you know, politics like that. And so it's it's beautiful. And my wife's a a painter. She used to have a gallery in Manhattan and Houston and San Francisco, but those big cities, uh, the art, the art is almost non-existent. The spirit of, you know, great art is really tough in those cities. And so we love it here in Santa Fe. There's so many opportunities. You just said your wife is a painter. He said that so casually. No, folks, his wife is an amazing painter. <laughs> well, well uh, the official, uh, if, if I'm going to be official, uh, she's world-renowned painter, award-winning painter, but uh, we moved here because uh, we we got outbid every other place that we tried to go. Nine, nine offers, we lost them all, so we just said, okay, Santa Fe, I don't know why we didn't pick this place first, but... You know, you saw Moses lead his gang out of Egypt. <laughs> so I think those journeys are parallel to all of us, you know. Real quick, tell the folks your wife's name. and, and Yeah, well, it, she's got a website. It's Cheryl with a C, C-H-E-R-Y-L, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, dot com, Cheryl Kelly dot com. And she's just completed a series of uh, 22 angels. Uh, oil on aluminum, oil on canvas, oil on wood. Yeah, CherylKelly.com. And she's got a good bit of her new work up there now. So, But you could always call Jerry, and I could give Jerry's home phone number over the radio now so he can just receive your calls if you want to talk about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Jerry, Jerry, I really appreciate you. I can't wait to see you. I'm going to get you on stage. You know, no more you just walking around interviewing people. You're, I'm going to, I am think i got to get you up on stage. We'll talk about it. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> we love what you're doing down there. Thanks so much. Just trying to do my part in southern New England. So from Santa Fe, New Mexico, he's Dan Russell, founder of Soul Fest. God bless you, Dan. Yes, thank you so much. You too. And again, you just heard my conversation with the founder of Soul Fest, Dan Russell. Soul Fest, the Northeast premier multi-day Christian music festival, which takes place Thursday, August 15th through Saturday, August 17th at the Franklin County Fairgrounds, Greenfield, Massachusetts. If you would like more information about what you heard today, call WHS 860 346 1049. 860 346 1049. I'm Jerry Williams for the WHS Journal. It's news and public affairs.